All right, so today we're going to do a murder mystery, and uh, I'm actually pretty excited. It's been a while since we last did one of these bad boys. And uh, also, before we do get started, I'm rocking the Grandmaster Arno Assassin outfit. Uh, and I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. You know what? Back in the day, I didn't really like it that much, but it's kind of grown on me. I think it looks pretty awesome. And uh, we're also using the Sword of Eden. We're not gonna use it yet, since uh, when it comes to murder mysteries, there's normally like no combat. I think there was like only one murder mystery where there was like a bit of combat, but that's about it. But uh, all right, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Barber of Seville. So it's a level one difficulty, so yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Solve the acting trope murders. So what the little picture depicts as well is that, yeah, he's a man around 40 years old, lying on the ground with a slashed throat. There's a calling card in his pocket, but there just seems to be like roses as well from what the picture depicts. I don't see them myself, but uh, I assume he was going to take them to someone. We got a like trail of blood over here. All right, that still doesn't give us a whole lot. Yeah, thankfully, the other one is not too far away. Wait a second. Huh. Am I missing something? It's not the dry blood over here, right? Hold on. Can I pick this up? No, it says I already got it. All right, yeah, because... um. There's like a little, uh, oh, okay. I didn't even realize there we were supposed to come over here. Uh, okay. So there's going to be a couple more. Oh no, that's locations. My bad. I'm, tr I'm tripping out right now. <laughs> All right. So, uh, we got two other locations we could visit. Uh, yeah, let's go to the one right over there. Oh, okay. I guess this is another location. The blue locations visited. Bartel the actor. I rent him a room upstairs for his discreet encounters. This evening he arrived with a bouquet and said a young lady would soon follow. I went out back briefly. When I returned, I found these flowers scattered in a trail out into the street. Then a man dressed in shabby black robes, you know, like a, a poor student, came running down the stairs and out the door. Very odd. Nothing bad has happened, I hope. All right, so we got to find that uh, student-like person. It's going to be integral for our, uh, for our mystery over here. Am I supposed to get to the second floor? Is there a staircase? Oh, there is an open window, though. So we have Laurent Duar, second. I assume this is the weapon. Didn't Johnny Depp once made a movie where he was uh, playing a barber that would like kill his uh, clients? The Theatre Troupe of Amans. So, it by saying a stylish production and the Theatre, uh, I don't know if they mean like theater and, you know, there's normally productions in theaters when it comes to like plays. So, is, it, is this like a whole play or is this like an actual barber? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Right? 
Uh, what is it? Oh, didn't even read that. I feel like once we gathered all the evidence, it's just gonna make like way more sense. So yeah, I'm just gonna go to like the last location, and uh, then I'm just gonna go like go through all the evidence once again, like a reread. Because right now I am a little confused. Not gonna lie. Well, I guess I was right. It is a play. The poor student costume. So he wasn't an actual poor student. It was a disguise. The plot thickened. Barber's plate is missing. Just like the guy in the cafe mentioned that there was a man that like ran passing by like wearing black. Me? I'm Rose. I've been acting with the troupe for some time. I'm married to Laurent. I'm worried about him. Neither he nor our lead actor have shown up today. But if he does arrive, don't let him see you talking to me. He's very, very jealous. One more time through, please. Figaro, who was it you were speaking so intently with just there? A young student who shows much promise. He is very talented and witty. He speaks with refinement and, well, as you have seen, he has a very pleasing... Very pleasing, I assure you. Very pleasing. He has one great failing which I fear will impede his advancement. A failing, did you say, Figaro? What failing could such a one have? He is in love. Good. Stop there. Where are our other actors? All right. So from that little dialogue, I'm starting to think something that that new student probably killed the lead actor because, of course, he wants to, you know, in a sense, maybe take up his spot. And what if the new student is also in love with this lady and that's and he killed her husband as well, because we know two people are dead and it's most likely her husband and the lead actor. I am the actor Ficaron, La Fayolle from Marseille to Ghent. We have a tight-knit theatre troupe here. We all get along very nicely, although, well, Pascal can be difficult and argues endlessly with Barthol. But nothing serious. What do you ask? All right, so yeah, we got to find that uh, student real quick and have a little talk with them. Yeah, like that's not suspicious enough. My name is Pascal. I generally play second lead, although frankly, I'm the superior actor. Barto's the leader of the troop, so he casts himself as first lead. First lead. He can barely remember his lines. Likes to mix it up with the actresses as well. <laughs> Unprofessional. He's not well liked. Laurent, in point of fact, hates him. Laurent's a bit of a turd himself. 
Yeah, well, he's already not speaking uh, good about, you know, the lady's wife and the lead actor. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, pointing huge fingers. So there should be... A oh, okay, there it is. Let me do that. So Barto is the one who's with Rose. All right, okay, okay. I'm just gonna stop here because I, I, I think that one of these people, I don't think it's Rose. I think one of these people, either between uh, the dude up there or the guy down there, is uh, responsible. So I'm gonna, I'm going to go through the uh, thing we just uh, collected. All right, let's start from the very bottom. All right, so I could assume that this dude then is Berto or Barto, a lead actor. Alright, you know what? This one low-key kind of has me confused. I'm going to go back and talk to them real quick. Both of them to uh, see their statements or hear their statements better. Mix it up with the actresses as well. <laughs> Unprofessional. He's not well-liked. Laurent, in point of fact, 
hates him. Laurent's a bit of a turd himself. But he hates both Berto and Laurent. I am the actor of Ficaron. Club Fayol from Marseille to Ghent. We have a tight-knit theatre troupe here. We all get along very nicely. Although, well, Pascal can be difficult and argues endlessly with Barthol. But nothing serious. What do you ask? I'm Rose. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Damn it, Arno, stand still. What the heck? I'm Rose. I've been acting with the troupe for some time. I'm married to Laurent. I'm worried about him. Neither he nor our lead actor have shown up today. But if he does arrive, don't let him... Wait, don't let him what? Oh, yes, he has Tonka. Yeah. The thing is that she says she's worried that they haven't arrived, but she doesn't sound worried. Oh man, this is like the toughest one. It's like meant to be so easy, but it's tough. Like, I want to blame this guy. Like, these two right here are my main suspects right now. Wait, he claims to be the finest actor, right? Let me go back to this place real quick. Uh, wasn't there like something over here? I really don't know which one. I, I know for a fact it's not the cafe owner. It just wouldn't make sense. So it it's between these two. I don't think it's the wife at all. I don't think it is. Uh, especially because the cafe owner did mention it was like the guy. I'm just going to risk it, bro. I'm just going to go with this guy. I am the actor of Ficaron. La Fayol from Marseille to Ghent. We have a tightness. You are a clever man. Oh, I was right. Okay. It was my finest role. I waited until Laurent killed Barthol. Then I killed Laurent. Any man who has a sister would do the same. Oh, they're related. I didn't even know that. Okay. I don't think they've ever mentioned that they were related in the first place. To be honest, it was just a lucky guess at this point. I I, I was going to choose the other guy, Pascal, but uh, I just didn't know, to be honest. Ah, hello. So delightful to see the man who put me here, where I have no audience. And you know what? Now it makes sense, too, since they're related. He kind of sounded worried for his uh, sister. You know, saying that he resolved the problems. Actors. Or her two problems. the chop if I had my druthers. See what you like. All right, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one. This was, this definitely didn't feel easy. Uh, maybe I read wrong, but nah, I don't think so. I don't think so because uh, I reread them like three times. And it, it just got me more confused, to be honest. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed um, hold on, let me actually check out the back sword. Let me see how that looks. Where's this one? Gladius? Nope. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> That's an interesting looking sword. I thought that was like made out of wood or something. But uh, yeah, like I said before, I'm going to be ending the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Peace.